300 tests, and uh, 80 to 90 percent of those tests, the fecal bacteria levels. I mean, they're not just like a little off; like they're crazy off the charts. They're failing by six, seven fold at least. So six, seven times what it should be. Fecal bacteria levels are in this water. <clears throat> it's always got that funky green look to it when they're dumping this shit in there. It's just like cloudy and stuff. My good buddy Mark Zinn lives on the 15th Street Canal or 14th Street Canal. And he's been bitching and moaning like something just ain't right back here. And uh, this is why. It's because the sewage leaks 24-7. Whether it's coming out in mass like this or it's leaking out like a broken sprinkler, it's coming out and just goes into the water. That pipe is back yonder on the other side. You can get to it. From I'll walk around you. Yeah. You can get to it from the other side. What we're going to show you now is exactly where that water goes. So the sewage is coming down the street, goes into this drain, and then goes into the canal system. Now this is the first canal from the inlet. This water should be fairly clean. It should test, because they do it by parts per million. I mean, it should test pretty good. We do, uh, so uh, we test fecal bacteria uh, with the most probable number. So it's the, each one of these samples is about is, uh, 100 milliliters. So it's the most probable number of bac uh, bacterial cells in 100 milliliters of water. For more information, listen to The Real Guy Podcast.